people, the majority of white men in America are in working class America, mm -hmm. paying child support just like me. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That, hey, man, that's a unifying thing that most men in America, if you decide to have a child and the relationship fails, you're going to be on child support. And that means that you're going to have to make a decision. I'm going to support my child. And even if my ex-wife or the person I had a child with, it has someone else and is giving government assistance, she's going to have three forms of income, her new man, government <laughs> assistance, and me. When I'm trying to, uh -huh. when I'm eating top ramen. Yeah, it's forcing accountability. And it, and I don't, because if somebody was to try to force me, if the shoe was on the other foot, I know us women would be outraged. Like, we would. The most accountable thing is to have a family structure for two people to negotiate how we're going to have a relationship and how we're going to raise this child. Yeah. And if we're not going to be together, then we have to have shared parenting time. If we have to, like, go half on daycare, whatever it mm -hmm. is, we have to negotiate that. And if you tell the, the state to turn me into a criminal and incarcerate me... Mm -hmm. This does nobody any good. There is a war on families. There's a war on men. Mm -hmm. And all the while, they're passing bills that are anti-human. And I say anti-human is any behavior that does not produce life. Right. They're yeah. investing in in, in uh, all types of reproduct. Like, goodness gracious, I don't want to like, I don't want to try to control a woman's body. But I, at the same time, I don't want a woman to try to control my body. Mm-hmm. But I can't say that out loud because then a woman would try to shame me and say, you just need to be a man or you shouldn't have <laughs> sex. But women are mad now because the government is trying to control our bodies by saying, if you get an abortion, this will happen to you or they're abolishing the drug to to, of abortion. I want to be because, you know, it's, it's so bad. I don't want to censor your speech, but art artificial intelligence will censor your speech mm -hmm. and um, sending little babies to go see Jesus to talk about that conversation. For some reason, it trips the algorithm mm. and they get so sad because oh, they don't okay. want to acknowledge the fact that 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 is not a good thing. Yeah. And so they'd rather they'd rather uh, see a woman get so mad and say, you can't tell me what I can do with my body. But simultaneously, she'll tell a man, well, you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have had sex with yeah. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, baby, you shouldn't open that door. I wouldn't have shouldn't came we in. share the accountability. Yeah. But th there's no reason to share it when you have a big weapon mm -hmm. called Uncle Sam. Yeah. Uncle Sam, daddy. I call him Uncle Daddy. I just don't see the productivity. And I feel like maybe I'm naive. I've never had a conversation with a woman that really feels like that is her only option. You have to be so careful because you sitting here and having this conversation with me, there's a whole group of women out there. So you pick me. Oh, you yeah. Me. <laughs> Remember that? Man, <laughs> how dare you? You try to spend like mm -hmm. to be responsible and to actually practice and believe equality makes me for for the black community. It'll make me a coon. Mm -hmm. And for you, for the female community, it'll make you a pick me. Yeah. Hey, there, there's a war on the poor and poor people are fighting against each other and not yeah. against the classes above them. Yeah, let's be, <laughs> let's really be a, prioritize what we should battle against for real. I heard this individual. He's like a big YouTuber. His name is Anton Daniels. And mm -hmm. he said that poor men should not. He specifically said that men who receive public assistance should not uh, have children. And when I heard that, all it did is it took me back. It took me back to the welfare system. And uh, prior to 1977, it might have been some cases after 1977, but if a, a black woman was uh, on government assistance and she had a daughter that was uh, a hit, excuse me, they hit puberty, mm -hmm. they're going to give that, that, that child a hysterectomy. Mm -hmm. They were sterilizing little girls because they, that idea that poor people shouldn't have babies. And so they were sterilizing children. And so to hear a black man to tell black people they shouldn't have children because they're poor. I was like, do you understand your history? And I'm not even mm -hmm. trying to be ugly to you, but come on. Like that's an irrational conversation to have that conversation is saying that the majority of men in America should not reproduce. And that's mm -hmm. not based on government assistance. That's just based on economics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, and so like men in America had to fight a, for labor rights so they can make enough money to sustain their family. And then we had a competing ideology of feminism and the feminist said that I need to go to work. And so now you got men and you got women in the workplace competing with men for the exact same position. Mm -hmm. Now they have it. They got 50% of the workforce and they do not want to have 50% of a civic responsibility. 